about National Pulled Pork Day because it's just right around the corner. And we turned to somebody that knows a thing or two about meat. We're going all the way to Brooklyn, New York. I have Matt Abdu here with me of Pig Beach Barbecue. Matt, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having us. It's such an honor to be here today. Hey, we love it. So, okay, first things before we get into, you know, some of the other meat that we can actually pick up here in Utah, tell us about your restaurant. Certainly. Well, we're Pig Beach Barbecue. We're located, located at 480 Union Street in Gowanus, Brooklyn, right on the fabulous Gowanus Canal. And we've been here for about seven and a half years right now. And we have a bunch of new projects in the works, one opening up in Queens, Astoria, Queens, and one in West Palm Beach, Florida this fall. I love it. Okay, so if we're not jumping on an airplane tomorrow to come out and visit you, hopefully one day, though, but you actually have some other products that we can pick up here locally that you love, and they're quick and easy. That's right. So in honor of National Pulled Pork Day, we partnered up with Lloyd's Barbecue to bring to everybody this incredible artisanal smoked Lloyd's Barbecue meat, barbecue pulled pork, and pulled chicken being made with our two-time world champion barbecue mustard sauce. And oh, this is wow. a project we're super excited about that you can go and find in the refrigerator section at your local Walmart or Winco. And you can heat it up in minutes right out of the container and eat it as is, or you can make it into some of these delicious things we have in front of us here today. Recipes are available at hormel.com. Search for Lloyd's when you get in there, and you'll find all these recipes in front of us that we have today for you guys to start working on for inspiration, or you can just really do whatever you want with it. It's that good. I love it. And you know what? The fact that it's quick and easy, I think that speaks volumes for people, especially if it's good. So uh, tell me about the three different uh, recipes you have in front of you. Sure. I mean, as you said, everybody's always on the go. Everybody's busy. So when you can find something that's delicious and quick, it really makes a world of a difference for your family, especially trying to get dinner on the table for hungry eaters. So what we have in front of you here today is a little bit of barbecue pulled pork mac and cheese. Take either the recipe off of hormel.com or take your own favorite mac and cheese recipe at the end, fold into it some of this Lloyd's Pig Beach barbecue pulled pork at the end, top it off with some breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, maybe some shredded cheddar, bake it to get that nice gratin, that nice crust on the outside, and you're gonna take mac and cheese to the next level. Nice. Or you can try messing around and make a little bit of barbecue pulled pork risotto, or cool mm -hmm. it down and you can make barbecue pulled pork arancinis or little rice balls out of it. Once we make it into the, just fold it into the rice at the end, we're gonna bread it in flour, eggs, and breadcrumbs, and either deep fry it or bake it at 350 degrees for an incredible delicious snack or hors d'oeuvre or appetizer, if you will, and have a little bit more of that Pig Beach two-time world champion barbecue mustard sauce on the side to dip it into to really take it next level. Or if you just want, you can take it, put it onto your favorite pizza dough or crust, a little bit of barbecue sauce, some shredded cheddar, shredded Monterey Jack, Whatever you have on it, I got a little banana pepper and arugula to top my pizza off to make pizza into the next level using this barbecue pulled pork. Or it's just delicious, put it on a potato bun with a little coleslaw, and you're good to go. Wow, okay, pulled pork risotto. I have never thought to do that. Yeah, I mean, my oh, mind's blown. Barbecue risotto is absolutely delicious. Just make your traditional risotto recipe at the end when you're adding all the cheese and the butter and whatnot. Fold into it out of the barbecue pulled pork or the barbecue chicken, and it's going to be next level risotto with all that smoky, delicious craftsmanship of that artisanal barbecue from Lloyd's and that amazing two-time world champion barbecue mustard sauce from us at Pig Beach. It's match made in heaven. And you know what? I like this, that it's going to change up probably our typical meals, right? We all reach for the same thing time and time again, but if you add the pork to something else, it's like a whole different meal. Totally, and that just goes to show the versatility of this project, that it is a lot more than just heat and eat, although you can do that, and it's exceptionally delicious that way, but it's so versatile. There's so many fun things you can do it with it. Just think about it. You can make it something fun happen, or just start with these recipes, and then when you feel more comfortable with it, start adding it to all your favorite things you like to eat. Fantastic. I love it, and you said that we can get it at Walmart and Winco. Yes, ma'am. That's correct. In the okay, refrigerator yeah. section, the heat and eat barbecue section, it'll be right there. Easy. And when we come to New York, we're going to come visit you in Brooklyn and then in Queens, right? Yes, ma'am. And if you can't do that, go to your local Walmart or Winco, buy a box or two, a 10 of these Lloyd's Pig Beach barbecues and help us celebrate National Pulled Pork Day. Love it. Fantastic. So great to meet you, Matt. Like, likewise. Great meeting you as well. Have a wonderful day and thanks again.